Part 6, Round 8 of my Virus Blanket Tutorial. Thanks for stopping by. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and we're back today with, what do we have? Part 6, which is round 8 of our virus blanket. So what we're going to do today is this part here that's in the cream, these four rounds, or we're going to do the first round of this four round repeat. These next four rounds, round 8, 9, 10, and 11, are very, very important. Um, that's how you're going to increase every time you go around. So what we're going to work on is the cream color right here and we're going to change our color to white. So first we start off with changing colors. Now remember we just finished round seven and we did a little slip stitch right here to close up this part of our corner. But we're going to actually take out that last little slip stitch, boom, replace our hook go back through that same stitch that you did the slip stitch in, but now we're going to use our color B, second color, and we're going to complete this stitch. Boom. So now we've changed color. That's how, that's how easy it is. That's how simple this really, really is. We're going to leave this other color attached just for a minute and then we can snip it off and we'll tie those in a knot. So you don't have to have you drag in this other color with you right now. We're going to use the next four rows are going to all be in white. So round eight, we start out very similarly. What we did down here, we're going to make more corners. So we're going to make this, but then we also have to fill in the middle. So this is, this is the part where I think some people get tripped up, but it's amazingly easy. So we're going to start out with a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. You want to skip this chain space and go to this chain space and do a single crochet. Now just like we always do with the, after the corners, we're going to chain three, skip, and a single crochet. Chain three, skip this chain space, go to this one, single crochet, and one more time, chain three, skip, and a single crochet. So there's the first part, first half of our new corner. So remember we only do a half a corner here at the beginning because we end right here. Very, very easy. So all, every time we do a chain three, the three chain three spaces, so one, two, three, then it's time for a five. If we're at a corner, there's two five chains. If we're not at a corner, it's one chain, chain five space. So one, two, three, four, five, chain five right there. And you want to jump over this spot, skipping this one, this one, and this one. So going to the same spot, mirrored over here, single crochet. And there's our chain five space. That was an increase. Hooray! That is this one right here that's all by itself. Not the double in the corner, but a single right here. And now since we just did a five chain, we do three, three chains. One, two, three. Skip this chain space, single crochet in here, that was chain three chain one, one, two, three, skip and single crochet, and one, two, three, skip and single crochet. Right, well we did three chain three spaces, so there's a five, and one, two, three, chain three spaces, so we know we have to do a five. Let's see if we're at a corner. We're at a corner. So that means we have to do two chain five spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip this chain space 
and go into the next one with a single crochet. And we're at the corner, so we need to make these both of these parts. We're going to do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Skip this chain space and a single crochet. There's the beginning of our new corner. Now we said just finished a five chain, so it's one, two, three. Skip the first chain space and single crochet. Chain three for the second time. Skip and single crochet. Chain three for the third time. Skip one space, single crochet. We did three. Again, there's our three. Chain three space number one, number two, and number three. As soon as that's done, you have to do a five. So we're going to decide, is it a corner or not a corner? Not a corner. This is a corner. So we're just going to do chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And jump over to not we'll skip this one. We're going to skip one, two, three, chain three spaces and go over to the one, which is a mirror image of this little space right in here. So we're going to slip single crochet right here. And that was another increase. Increased. Now we finished the five, so that means we have to do three chain three spaces. Skip this one, single crochet right here. Chain three for the second time. Skip, single crochet. Chain three for the third time. Skip this one, single crochet. All right, we did our three. So that means we have to do a five chain. And we're at a corner. Yay! One, two, three, four, and five. Whoops! And five chains. Skip the next chain space. Single crochet. And we're at a corner, so that means we have to do two of these. It's not just an increase like this, it's a corner. So two five chain spaces. Three, four, five. In a row. So skip the first, skip the next chain space and a single crochet into the following. There's our corner. So we'll go down the side again. We finished a five, gotta do a three. One, two, three. Skip single crochet, one, two, three chains, skip single crochet, and one, two, three chains for the third time, skip and single crochet. Time for another increase, we need to jump across, jump across here so that it's a mirror image right here, we'd like to stay symmetrical, so we're going to skip, skip, skip. And over here, oopsie. So remember we want to do a mirror image, so we're going to end up single crocheting in here after we chain our five. One, two, three, four, five. Jump across to this one. So you're skipping three spots and single crochet right here. There's our increase. Yay. One, two, three, skip, single crochet. One, two, three for the second time, single crochet. One, two, three for the third time, skip, and a single crochet. Back at a corner, so we just finished these three, they always come in threes. Doesn't matter how big this blanket is, these come in threes. One, two, three, four, five. Skip this first chain space, single crochet here. And since we're at a corner, we need to do two of those in a row to keep this pattern going right here. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the first chain space and single crochet into the following. Believe it or not, we are almost done with round eight. We just have to do this last side. I promised this was going to be easy. So there's our corner. 
two five chain spaces. So when you're done with the five chain space, it's back to three chain three spaces. One, two, three. Skip this first chain space here. Single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the second time. Skip single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the third time. Skip this space and a single crochet. And we have to increase again. There's our corner. There's our three. After you do the three, it has to be a five. So we're just going to chain five right now. Four, five. And we're not at a corner. So we just jump over symmetrically here. Skip, skip, skip. And single crochet. And there's our last increase right here. Finish to five. So then we have to do our threes. One, two, three chains. Skip this first space. Single crochet into the next. One, two, three for the second time. Skip. Single crochet into the next. One, two, three for the third time. Skip and single crochet into the next. And we have this little space right here. That is to finish this corner. We just did three, three chain three spaces, so we have to do a five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip this chain space, and you're going to single crochet into the last one. Just tighten these up a little bit. All right, so there was your last stitch. Now we can cut off color number one. Leave a nice long end so you can make this one go out of the way. You won't get any tangles. And there you go. Here's round eight. We changed colors and we started our base for the next round. So this was round, or this is round one of our four round repeats. So this was round eight. So eight, nine, ten, and eleven are all going to be in white. So here you go. Thanks for stopping by to see round eight of my Vibrous Blanket tutorial. This was part six. Stop by again soon for round seven. Um, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you know when part seven comes out and you can continue on your virus blanket. Thanks. Have a great day. Stop by soon.